Hello, hello. Happy Monday, everyone. When you hop on, say hi. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this on my iPad. Okay, I got a notification, it popped right up today. All right. Hey, Tammy, hello, hello. Tell me hi when you get here. My hair is looking a mess, but you're not here to look at my hair, so that's okay. Hi, Cam, how are you today? Hey, Ashley, I see you popping up here. How are you? I saw your picture on Facebook, Ashley. Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing well, Cam. Hi, Sharon, how are you today? Happy Monday. Oh, I can see all kinds of comments. My iPad's working so far. We'll see if it continues to. I can, for now, I can see the phone. So um, if you're new, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk and, um, oh wow, nine o'clock. Yes, it's cold out here, Ashley, but I am in the garage. I'm doing different stuff tonight, so it should be fun. I have some experiments to do, and so um, one of them, I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, but we're gonna try. And um, it is cold out here, so my hands are gonna get cold. I've layered up, so hopefully I'll stay warm. I've got my nice wool socks on and my warm slippers. But as I was saying, I'm Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk. I'm a water marbling artist, and we're going to be marbling all kinds of fun stuff today. I've had some brilliant, quote unquote, ideas to try, and um, we're going to see if it works. Um, if you have not uh, followed my page, if you like my page but have not followed, I would appreciate it if you would go back and hit the follow button. That's what's gonna help my page grow. The more followers I have, Facebook likes that. So if you don't mind doing that, I would appreciate it. Hey, Shelly. Thank you, Tammy. So um, also, if you wouldn't mind sprinkling out this video, get some new eyes on what I'm doing tonight, I would appreciate that as well. And if you haven't signed up for notifications, just touch the screen and on the right hand side up here, there'll be three dots. Touch those and turn on your live notifications. So I think that's um, also, um, there is, if you want to give stars, that's kind of a tip for what I am doing. If you enjoy what you're seeing and you feel uh, like giving stars, you do not have to. I just appreciate it if you so desire to do it. So um, I guess that's all I have as an intro. Tonight we're, I'm going to be doing, I went and bought some more gauze because you know I was not happy with the way the gauze turned out. So tonight I'm going to have my husband help me print it and that'll keep the wrinkles from not printing correctly. And I'm gonna try it in the colors of one of my, um, one of the baby items I need to do and see, just to see how it looks. I have discovered that the brighter colors look better on the, um, thank you Shelly, on the gauze. So we're gonna try the bright colors tonight. So I guess without a lot of yakking, I will turn this around and we will get busy because my hands are getting cold already. I know it got up to 40 today here, but it's gonna cool off very rapidly. So let me um, turn this around so you can see it. I have the camera set on a new, um, well, same holder, but in a new location. So we'll see if this works. Hold on, here we go. If this bothers you, look away. I think this is gonna show you more of the full tank than we usually get. So I just, I have fresh water. I just mixed it yesterday 
And you see there's a lot of bubbles on the surface, so I need to clear the surface and then we can get started. And before I forget, I better plug my phone in. Hold on, I'm gonna jiggle here in a minute. Try not to drop it into the tank. Oh, and I don't think I'm long, I have a long enough cord to plug in. Maybe I do. So hopefully that um, is charging. Yes, I've got out the big tank tonight. Got the big guns going. So let me, oops, I have to print, use print right here. So did everyone have a wonderful Monday? It was a definite Monday for me. And I'm glad it's over and I'm glad I'm home so I can create. So I'm just taking those bubbles off the surface. Hi, Ramona. Now, if I missed your comment, please don't be upset. I'm not looking directly at the phone. I try to get my iPad up here, but it they don't show the same thing. So I'm not ignoring you, honest. And I will go back and uh, comment and answer questions. So this is water, it has some seaweed powder mixed in it that gives it a little bit of thickness so it supports the paint. And the paint I'm using is, <coughs> pardon me, is acrylic paint. Stayed in, oh yeah, tons of snow. Oh, we have no snow, we just have cold. <laughs> Okay, so I have two different kinds of gauze. The one gauze I've tried two times. I tried it before it was washed and then I tried it after it was washed. Oh, I better shake this. And um, then I have the new one. I did not wash the new one, so I don't know if they're you know, process differently or what? So we're gonna try it again. So I'll just drop this paint onto the surface. Now I put the, um, the water out in the tray just a few minutes ago. I don't know that they're, it's probably warmer than in the refrigerator than it is out here. And as you can tell, the paint is not um, expanding a long way like it usually does. And that's because the water is cold. And of course, when things contract when they're cold and expand when they're warm. So I have a nice thick size tonight. I tell you, I'm determined to figure this gauze out. I would have thought it would take, hi Judy, welcome. I would have thought the gauze would take the paint beautifully, but it really doesn't. I need to sweep the garage floor. My husband parks in the garage and uh, all the sand from, you know, being in the wet and the snow and all of the road is now on the garage floor. So you may hear it crunching under my feet. See now, now teal is a very, very pushy color, but look how little it is expanding or how slowly it is expanding, I guess is the proper word. One. 
think I want to then use the gray. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. How are you today? I kind of like the uh, camera where it is. I can still see comments and my screen on my iPad, um, it, the comments disappear really quickly. They stay up on my phone, which I like. So if you remember, the, the colors will never blend when they're on the surface of the water. And I'm just dropping them on one drop at a time. going to shake this a little bit to get some kind of irregular drops. Trying to keep all the paint in the tank. I think I'll shake this one too. I just love the irregular look that this is going to do or give us for this uh, piece. I just think it's so interesting that um, nice fresh water. Um, well, we're going to try a couple different things tonight, Barbara. So there's the first. The first tank. I really like it. crunching under my feet. Yeah, my hands are getting cold already. By the time we're done, we may go, I may go just a little bit quicker than normal tonight since it is cold. And my husband has to help me and he always goes to bed early, so. So in the, again, in this tank, I'm going to use the two gauze uh, pieces. There are two different kinds of gauze. I purchased them at different places. And lucky for me, I can tell them apart, so I know which one's which. Just going back and forth the entire length of the tank. I wish you could all feel this. It's wonderful. All the stress from work is going right out of my shoulders. Okay, so now I will use the comb. could print it just like that and you know what I think I'm gonna try um, probably not tonight but soon I'm gonna try some tone on tone uh, design 
I had someone describe my one of my pieces as a little wild the other day and I guess I didn't think of it as wild but I thought well perhaps I need hi Susan I need to kind of dial it back a little and so I think I'll try some tone on tone all right so let me get my I love swirling through this. I think of when I'm not sleeping, which I never seem to do very well anymore, unless it's, I can sleep on the weekends like nobody's business. You give me a weeknight and I'm just, wide awake until the wee hours of the morning and then I'm tired all day I've got way more um, that I'm gonna need here so let me get my my very um, ha happy to assist assistant before this is called a window pane gauze <clears throat> excuse me and um, so I'm gonna try it I've done it again and I'm using bright colors we're gonna see what this is like do you want me to go on that side you can come, come around this way if you want to Put this one in down here first. Yeah. More than enough. More than enough. Okay. okay, so we're just going to pull this out so there's no wrinkles. So that's the one we tried before. So let's get the new one. Okay, so this looks like it's doing exactly, do you need a paper towel? Mm -hmm. Exactly what the first one did. It just looks like it's sitting on top. It's not accepting like that did. See, that just disappeared. This one has not been pre-washed because I didn't want all the wrinkles in it. So I'm just gonna let it sit here. Make sure everything's making some contact with the water. Make sure there's no bubbles for now. Yeah, thank you. Careful. I set a trap for him. I've got all the cords and stuff on that side. Okay, I'm going to pull the other one out and leave this. Look at all this pretty that I'm gonna waste, but that's all right. And this is how I get color on my sleeve. If I have paint and I'm always pulling up my sleeves. Hi, Sue. And so I get colored way up on my arm. So we'll just let that one sit there and let me get the rinse bucket. I have noticed when I do the gauze, when I put it to, into prep, it just sits on top of the water. It does not, um, when I put cotton in, 
it just gets wet and it'll sink and this just sits on top until I push it into the water. So let's see how the, the pre-washed one does. And it just may be that I have to wash it and deal with the wrinkles. So it looks like it accepted the paint well. And I will have to take you on a tour after. Oh, I didn't bring any towels out. That was a silly thing. Afterwards, because I can't hold that over this piece. I'm going to dry my hands so I can pull the next one out. Now I do know what the other one looked like when I, or that, the first one I did that was the other, the window pane gauze. I know what it looked like when I pulled it out of the water and then when I rinsed it, it wanted to not hold the paint very well. So that's why I'm just letting this absorb, but you notice it's not getting wet on the back. Interesting. So there is definitely something on this, but we'll see how it much, much lighter. And it's very grainy looking. You can tell that it didn't take very well. But it is staying. So let me get, dry my hands and get a baggie. I, I washed my towels that I always keep in my studio and I forgot to bring them out. They're all folded neatly on the table where I usually work. Okay. I almost threw that into the water. So I will give you a, a tour once I get them hung up and see if you can tell the difference. Okay, there they are in the bag. I get the big bags of uh, the microfiber towels at Costco because it always seems that my microfiber towels end up with paint on them. Just don't know how that happens. All right, so let's get this cleaned up. I'll move the rinse bucket out of the way. I want to do little uh, swaddling blankets or receiving blankets with this gauze, but I may end up switching to um, muslin. I looked at the store for baby, you know, receiving blankets, and they all appear to be muslin. All the babies that are going to be born will be born in spring or summer. So it's not like they need to be super snuggly warm blankets. So I thought that might work well, but I, I just have my heart set on this gauze. A friend of mine showed me, um, or I posted a photo of her and her new granddaughter, and she was wrapped in a gauze um, blanket. And I'm just like, there it is, there it is. want to clean. Okay, one more 
piece and I'll have this down. Make sure the bubbles are out from under it. So tell me, did anybody do anything fun today? to the office and I don't consider that a ton of fun. Yep. Right, let's get this out of here. That's a pretty color combination. That's what I'm going to use um, the yellow and teals and gray that I'm going to use for one of the um, baby sets. Because we won't know what whether it's a boy or a girl. And I think that'll work for either. Oh, you know what? I just I forgot to sprinkle my There, I forgot to sprinkle my own video out. So let me do one more pass. I see one little bubble of color right there, so I'm going to get a napkin. And dab at it. There we go. See that one little, little dot had quite a bit of color in it. All right. We look pretty good. Whoops, there's a few down here. All right, so now I want to use Yeah, that's right. You can see through it. It's not all cloudy. Hi, Angela. How are you? I have a brand new color. We're going to see how this works. See if I've got it uh, mixed right. Let's see. I don't know if I want to use... Let's start... I'm going to start with the pink. She says confidently. Hoping it's mixed correctly. Isn't that pretty? So you don't have to start with white by any means. I generally do. This is going to be a test run. I had somebody contact me and ask if I could make something for, um, he does, uh, he work, makes custom speakers. So I'm kind of going with the color palette that he is considering for one of his. But I'm testing the, the, um, 
Yeah, it's fun. I hadn't, I had this before and then I didn't, I uh, ran out and didn't replace it. So I saw it recently and thought, oh, I want some of that. And this is a green. Oh, the crunching under my feet is driving me crazy. All right, there's the green. And now we're going to add some purple. Again, I'm making way more than I need. But this gives me a good idea of how it's going to behave. interesting how it's different down there than it is up here. I think I'll print down there at the other end. put some more purple in here and I believe I'm just going to freestyle this I really like the veins of the pink in there I might toss in just a little more pink Yeah, where's Becky Jones? Tell her I have a bright pink. All right, let's move this around. So again, there's no white in the tank tonight. And the, the fabric that I'm going to use, it's, um, it's called, let's see if I can get it right. It's burlap, but it's, uh, I want to call it oatmeal, but it's oyster. Oyster is the name. When I called the fabric store to see if they had it, he said, no, we don't have an oatmeal, but we do have an oyster. And I'm like, oh, that's what I really meant. Get some of this off the side and out into the tank. So we're gonna test. I know I have done um, burlap before, but I don't know, since it's not natural colored burlap, I do not know if there's something that they've done to it that would prohibit it from accepting the um, paint. Oh, my hands are cold. My hands were cold all day at work. Oh, that's pretty. I really like the pops of that fluorescent pink. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I could too. Easily. Very easily. Okay, let me get my assistant. This is really pretty. I probably should go with something that I know how it's gonna print. I haven't printed with a neon for quite a while. I guess we'll find out. It's just, it, it's an oatmeal color to me. Huh? Oh, I see. Is that? Yep. Yeah. Well, I have Why not? more pieces, but this is the piece that I'm going to. So come this way just a bit. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Are you ready to go to bed already? Mm -mm. Okay. Reading about Dr. Ashley. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm nervous to pull it up now. Yeah, some do look like hearts. There's a beautiful heart right down here in the corner. to work so badly. I've used a burlap before is what I was going to say, the natural stuff. So here it goes into the rinse bucket. And before I do this for uh, my customer, I will um, I will uh, sew a zigzag down the edges so it doesn't uh, fray as much, and it'll stay together a little better. But this was just my sample piece, so. Well, I can tell you that the water did not turn green or pink, the rinse water, so. Let me get a bag. Again, I will video this after it's hung to dry. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. All right. I really need a towel. Oh, I love that fluorescent pink. I think I might want to try to get a little bit deeper purple and not so such a violet color. So I might be mixing a little paint. All right, let me move the rinse bucket. Okay, I have two more test pieces tonight. One of them, I'm not quite sure what the, um, fabric content is. When I read the label, I had never heard of the fabric. I think there might be some like a spandex in it, so I don't know if this it's going to take.
Now I can see this pink is gonna be fun to try to get out of the tank because it's hanging right next to the edges. And that is because I put it in first and it got pushed out of the way. And so it got pushed towards the edges. So I want to um, build an even larger tank that I can do yardage and large things in, large pieces of cloth, and um, I have a project that I want to do. The thing I was engineering is something I can use in that bigger tank. I'm not, so I won't know if it's going to work until I get that put together. And it won't be a tank like this. It's just going to be the sides and then the center, the bottom will just be um, plastic sheeting and I'll just clamp it on and then we can unscrew the 2 by 4s and it'll collapse down so it's manageable. I don't have to store this humongous tank. Look at the paper. Even the paper's pretty. I know I'm in the bad lighting there, but. All right. most of that pink out of there. I'm going to go around the edges just because that will, the paint that's up on the side of the tank will eventually float out. Most of this right here, if you can see it, is underneath the water. how much of that I can get out. Okay, I'll drag it one more time. to make sure yep and it came out mostly clean okay so now for this one I'm going to divide the tank into two pieces I'm going to do the same color in both both sides but I want to keep it separated I'll show you why in a minute we 
we go. There's a bubble of green right here. See that one little dot? That, that was just a, a little bubble on top of the water with all that green in it. Okay. Oh, my hands are so cold. Obviously, um, the two sides will not be identical, but that's okay. I am not worried about that. Generally, when you're um, doing what I'm going to do, you won't be looking at both sides at the same time anyway. You can tell what color my um, water is going to be next week, can't you? a deep purple oh, I forgot I was gonna I was going to uh, prep some more items and I forgot I was busy prepping and mixing water and all that yesterday So now, oops, I almost forgot the other side. Again, this is acrylic paint floating on water. And if you are interested in learning how to do this, I have a kit available in my Etsy shop or on my website. And or I have um, if you just don't want to buy all of it and just are curious, I have a digital booklet you can purchase on my website. And then after, if you really want to learn it, then I will be offering um, a, a workshop. We'll be doing it via the internet. This pink looks just so pale next to that other bright pink. The other bright pink is a different brand of paint. The paints do not play well together. So I have to stay within brand. I know some people are able to mix the brands, but every time I try it, one of them sinks. So I just don't do it. All right, and now a this is more of a violet than a purple. I will go with freestyle once again.
And there's no right or wrong way to move your paint. I just always recommend you don't move it so much that you can't see the colors. If you do this over and over and over again, the lines get to be so small that you really can't enjoy all the paints. They will not blend, but they just become super small. My hand just hurts, it's so cold. All right, now let's do this side. Oh, this is so much fun. And it's even better tonight because the water is thicker, so there's even a little bit more resistance than normal. And that's because the water is fresh and it's cold out here. Let me grab my assistant and we're going to try this. So what I've done before I go get him, this is a little onesie. Usually I put these on a piece of um, foam core and I dunk them into, uh, yeah, that's right. I dunk them straight down, but I want the swirls. I don't want it elongated. And the sleeves always give me a fit. So this is why I'm trying it on this piece of um, pool noodle. So we'll see if this works. Okay, dear. So we're going to try to Put this down here and then pick it up and roll it over onto this side. That is the theory anyway. We will see how it, how it works. I'm very particular about my seams and I might just have to get over that, but I don't know yet. So we're going to do this side first and then we'll pick it up and do this side. So I made it as difficult for you as possible. And I have to not make it, let it sink too much because I don't want to get any of the um, paint on the front when I'm printing the back. Shoulders down first. Do you have it? Ready? No. Oh, it's sitting on the bottom. All right, so we're going to pick it up. Roll it over. get the color in there and these things once
once you get them wet, they're just like, you know, a wet noodle, all wiggly. So let me get the rinse bucket over here. I can see a spot here on the back where there was a little bit of a bubble right there. So here's the front. And here's, here's the back. Sorry, I know that's next to impossible to see. There is a little bit of area here that looks like it didn't take a print, but it looks pretty good overall, I think. So now I'm just gonna slide this out of here and toss the little onesie into the uh, rinse bucket. And the noodle as well. I didn't bring myself a towel. Anxious to get this up out of the watch or out of the water. All right, there's my noodle. We just have one more project after I get this cleaned up. My time. Are you good still? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see. Again, I'll take a photo. I'll probably do a little video of everything hanging up. And I know the lighting's not the best in the bathroom. So that was 100% cotton. Oh, not long at all. Just enough to get the uh, some of the excess paint. I'll rinse it again when I get it in the house under the faucet. Um, and that'll take some of that off. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Crescent. Thank you, uh, Judy. So that was fun. So we'll see how it turns out. It just, it, to me, when I put it in, I have a large garbage can that I fill with the water and then I put it on the frame and then I dunk it down and everything is elongated. Because when I, the process of pull it, pushing that down, any design then comes up the front, it doesn't print like I, like I design it. So I really want to figure out a good way to keep those, thank you, Tammy, keep those sleeves um, nice and out and be able to put it on the surface and then flip it over. The flipping it over is the part that just, you know, it just wants to not hold out nicely. And if I put it on the board and then lay it down, I'm likely to get a bubble because it doesn't allow you to, you know, you wanna kinda of sag the fabric and then lay it out so you don't get a bubble. And if it's on the board, it doesn't allow me to do that. Gosh, I'm throwing newsprint everywhere. Every time I pick up a section, the rest of it falls out. And there goes more. So that was, that was, well, that was one of the things that gave me the idea to try to engineer what I was engineering yesterday. And again, I can't try that until I get my bigger tank.
this last one, I can do whatever colors I want because it is a complete experiment. Oh, and I know what color I'm going to do. much easier that's coming out than that fluorescent pink did. worst part of it. The cleaning the tank and mixing water are the, my two least favorite things to do. When I'm at a show, when my husband comes with me, he usually cleans the tank while I'm checking out with the customer and talking to the next one and getting the items and stuff like that. So it works out well. All right, there we go. So let me get a, a strip of paper again. We're st still going to need two sides. didn't do that very evenly. I better scoot it over just in case. There we go. Dry my hands and then let's get the colors. Pop the bubbles. Yeah, no purple. Under the water. Here we go. I'm very anxious about this one. No, I have not. This paper is absolutely free for me. So that's why I like using it. someone recommend um, paint sticks and I didn't I couldn't get it clean and it could be just because I've always done paper Is everybody out of the storm conditions now? Are people still getting snow? You'd think I would know these things, but I have usually am so busy uh, whew, creating things and not paying attention to what's 
I do pay attention to the sports, but I never take the time to check the weather. I hope everybody's doing okay. We haven't even had rain. It's just been cold. Yeah, so far I still have not done the tone on tone yet, but we'll go, we're going to try that. This is the colors we're going with. Apparently I am in a teal mood tonight. Oh, uh, what if, what would, wouldn't that, a teal and that bright uh, pink, that neon pink be fun? So again, we'll just freestyle. And again, I'm not, this is a two-sided item, and I am not concerned that they are not identical. They're going to be the same colors. It's also going to be a freeform design. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, dear. Last one. See, I could also do my tone on tone, the light and then this one together. That might be really pretty. I am in southern, southwestern Idaho, Georgia. I've never been to Georgia yet. It's on my list. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We are doing a camisole. I can't get figure out which way it goes. So we're gonna do the front first, and then we're gonna try to pick it up and flip it over like we did the onesie. I'm not too concerned about the straps, so we're gonna hold it like on the side seams, kind of like this. Ready? Go your way a little bit, please. Down this way a little bit, because I want room. Let's kind of 
put the straps right down and then move it towards that end. So that went down nicely. Again, I have no idea what this, this fabric uh, composition is. I didn't recognize it. So I'm gonna make sure we're making full contact. sure the um the straps were marbled if it takes okay so we'll take it like this and flip it over both layers get both layers there we go pull it out straight So I see we did get a bubble in it. That's all, that's all. thank you. There was a bubble here, and there was a bubble there, and one right there. I'm going to look to see if... Um, it's a press and seal, that plastic wrap. Because I, if, if I put it on the water, I don't want the water coming through the front or the back. And um, well, I did the back or the front first, so I didn't want it coming through the front and then getting the back wet. Because once the fabric's wet, it will not accept the marbling. And that was my way of keeping it dry until we flipped it over. See, there's got to be a better way to flip it. I guess we should have done it this way so it was out nice and straight. Live and learn. Can you see? We'll see if it stays on. And there's probably a canisole I can get that is um, a different, a different uh, fabric content. But I had the idea, and I was at Walmart, so I thought, well, I'll just get like I think this didn't cost me like four dollars. too big, you know, too much money to expend if it didn't work. So if I actually, um, if I actually, I just heat set it with an iron crescent. Um, if I actually wanted to do these and could get good at it, obviously it takes practice. Um, I'll probably want something with a different fiber content. If I could get something with a lot of polyester in it, I would love it. Polyester marble's great. All right, now do you think I can get it all in this little bitty bag? Looks like it might actually 
actually work. There, they even fit in the bag. Of course, I used the big bags for the little stuff. That didn't make any sense. Okay, let me dry my hands again. Oh, that was exciting. All right, let me pull you back up here after I get my hands dry. All right, that's all tonight. Thank you, each and every one of you, for being here. I can't even express how thankful I am for you. Um, if you missed any of it, come back. The replay is always on my page and watch for the video of all the items once I get them hung. Now the camisole looks really, really sad when it's hanging there wet. I think I'll drape it over my paper rack that I have instead of hanging it. And I will probably, once this is dry and I iron it, I have to wait a week and then I can get it wet again and then toss it in the dryer so it retains its shape somewhat. Well, I'm glad you liked it, Crescent. Thank you so much. So um, be watching for the video and don't forget, Thursday night at 7 p.m. we'll be crafting. I have something really fun I want to do. So I hope you enjoy that as well. So Thursday night, 7 p.m., I will post a reminder, but I hope to see you with me on Thursday. So thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun, all the test subjects, and we will see you again on Thursday. Bye, everyone. If I don't see you again, have a wonderful week. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Shelly. Bye.